Hi, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We have seen the analysis for voltage divider biasing. Now, the symbol for MOSFET in certain books you can find as shown over here. You have like this also, it is shown in certain book. That is, it is a three terminal device. Substrate and source are joined together. Arrow now indicates it is N channel E MOSFET. Again, your gate and the channel that is drain between drain and source is isolated so there is a gap between this so in neiman you can find the symbol for mosfet e mosfet given in this format also right so to have a habit of it you are solving different types of the problems in which the symbols are also different now it is n channel e mosfet since the arrow is moving outwards in this case then the biasing use is the potential divider biasing now coming to the question, you need to find ID, VDS and power dissipated in the transistor. You know the first step we deal over here is to find the value of VG which is R2 upon R1 plus R2 into VDD. So this will give you the value as 3.636 volts. Now assuming the transistor to be biased in the saturation region. If the transistor is biased in the saturation region then only we can use the equation ID equals to KN so here we are assuming that the transistor is biased in the saturation region so KN VGS minus VTN the whole square so the KN value is given in the equation 0.25 milliamperes so 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 then VGS is given as what we got vg is nothing but vgs because there is no resistance over here so drop at this point is zero so we can say vg is vgs since voltage vs equals to zero how we are writing vgs vg minus vs since vs is zero we can say vgs equals to vg hence vgs we are taking it as three and vtn is given as two the whole square this will give you the value of IDQ or you can say ID as 0 0.669 milliamperes. So we have got the value of IDQ. Now we can find VDS. VDS we can find by applying KVL in the output loop. Let's say KVL to output loop. We can write VDS as VDD minus ID into RD. Since there is no resistance in the source, we are restricting to ID into RD. So when you substitute the values, you will get it as 3.331 volt. So we have got the value of VDS. Now last part is to find the power dissipated. So in this case, we can find the power dissipated as the output voltage multiplied by the output current. You have VDS as the output voltage and ID as the output current. So when you are multiplying these two values, you will get the power as 2.228 milliwatts. So this is the power dissipated in the transistor right so this is one of the type of the problems for further problems kindly keep watching in five minutes 